Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the bottom of the deck you've got the Ten of Cups. So, and that's the Tree of Life. So it looks like that ending is coming in. All the difficulties that you have been going through uh, is now coming to an end. You've got the sign of Pisces over here, so that is definitely coming to an end. Uh, and, you know, all that drama, all that problems are dying off. It's where, uh, you know, Mars has its least amount of energy in the sign of Pisces. So all of that that you've been going through is now fizzling out. And you are now going to start, you know, uh, a new path in life, a new road to happiness. So something brand new will be coming in after this. So this cycle is now ending and the difficulties are over. The worst is now finished. You've got the eight of wands, so the movement coming in. A rainbow, so the end of difficult uh, situations. You can see there's a lot of drama. You've got a lot of clouds with a lot of lightning over here, but things are starting to move. And there's a lot of information coming in for you. It's uh, activating all the chakras over here, so that means that you know, you're getting a lot of power coming back into your hands. There might be some news that also comes in for you. You've got the seven of swords over here, so you were dealing with a very difficult situation. You might still be dealing with this uh, situation where there's a lot of deception that is going on. You've got the moon in Aquarius over here, and maybe everything that you've done, <coughs> excuse me, feels like it's been futile, like, you know, your efforts have been uh, not worth it. So uh, that is now about to change because you've got that eight of wands crossing it. And so this, whatever you felt like, uh, you know, you couldn't win in this situation, it's about to change and movement is about to come in. Now you've got the princess of swords in the back uh, in the last three months, um, uh, six months rather to a year rather um so this princess of swords has been dealing with difficult legal issues you've got your back turned to it there was some kind of uh, decision that had to be made and you were trying to uh, you know get your power back now with the princess of swords it's not about getting full power because it's still the princess it's the page of swords the person that you might have been dealing with might have been very deceptive there was a lot of lies cheating there might have been a lot of spying a lot of tail carrying as well with that princess of swords so very deceptive energy is what you had been dealing with in the past and uh, you know they were starting uh, stirring up trouble for you as well there could have also been a legal situation that you were dealing with as well with that princess of swords and you're waiting for news to come in about that you've got the king of discs over here so you are focusing on your career and it looks like you're starting to make inroads over there trying to climb up that career ladder so you are starting to accumulate finances as well there was some kind of disaster you've got the uh, volcano erupting in the background of here. So you de dealt with a really difficult situation, a lot of drama, and now you're starting to, uh, you know, overcome it and move forward. You are focusing a lot on your work. So what's in your mind? You've got the princess of discs. So there might be something new that you're considering doing, maybe taking on a new job, maybe going for promotion, trying to get in that abundance. So this is on your mind. You're considering a new job and you're trying to manifest it with that wand. And you're also looking to the future because she's got a little orb over there, which is like, uh, you know, um, a crystal ball. So she's looking to the future with, for that, with that. So this is about making plans for the future and making, uh, you know, having ideas about what to do in order to manifest. Now you've got the six of cups over here. So there looks like there might be an offer that comes in with six of cups. Uh, the sun in a Scorpio is about doing things that you really enjoy, uh, getting pleasure from whatever you're doing. Uh, and you can see all these cups are full. So whatever you're doing is giving you that satisfaction as well. The Six of Cups also deals with the past. So, you know, there might be an offer that comes in from somebody that you used to work with in the past or somebody that you knew. If you're facing, uh, you know, a, a love a situation and you've ended, you know, a difficult relationship, there might be a uh, reconciliation with somebody or you going back and meeting somebody from the past. Uh, maybe you had some kind of encounter with them in the past. Maybe they were, you know, an old love or an old flame that coming back into your life. This could also be, you know, dealing with children, sorting through problems that you have maybe having with your children or your family life. But definitely, uh, you know, a little walk back into the past there. Um, so um, going to the future here, you've got the three of discs. So you are very focused on your work. There looks like there's an offer coming in over here. It's almost like a peace offering, but it, it's, it's about work. And uh, it looks like, you know, you're steadily moving forward. You need to be strategic. The door is open. Uh, you know, there might be a few difficulties over there, but it looks like you are focused on work. This is also a card about collaborating and working in teams, uh, you know, building cathedrals, building something long term, but being in charge. So you are calling the shots and it looks like, you know, you are moving forward into it.
You've got the high priest over here. So this is, could be about learning, study, knowledge. But also this is about waiting for things to come and fall into your hand. Um, so uh, the high priestess card comes on when, you know, um, you need to keep quiet about your plans, uh, but just wait. Divine timing is in a play here, <coughs> and it looks like things are going to start coming your way. Um, and there's also study as well involved with this particular card, learning new uh, skills and new knowledge coming as well. So maybe this job that you're going to be doing is applying all that skills, and also it might be opening the door for a new study or uh, new um, information to come in. So you may need to do some research with regards to your work. But, you know, as far as going and doing the activity, you know, don't try and make big changes over here. Just wait for things to happen because they are going to change for you. Now, you've got the Seven of Wands. You are starting to stand up for yourself. Uh, you've got your uh, Mars in Leo over here. So you are building up your confidence and you're standing your ground now. It seems like nobody is going to, uh, you're not going to be a pu pushover anymore. You have made up your mind that you're going to stand up for what you believe in. So going into the future, you've got the Princesses of Cups, or the final outcome rather, the Princess of Cups, the Mentor of Swords, and the Strength Cards. The Princess of Cups is a new offer coming in. So this could be, you know, a new love offer. It could be a new job offer, and it could even be a, a job offer with study attached to it. So new learning coming in there. This could be even a new social invitation coming in with that Princess of Cups. And you've got the Mentor of Swords over here. So um, it looks like, you know, there's some, uh, maybe there's a legal issue also or legal news that you are waiting for that's going to give you some kind of power uh, in order for you to sort out uh, whatever has been going on in the past. So something may be coming in from the past that involves uh, legal issues and, you know, you're going to be given the tools to be able to deal with it. You can see the Sentio has got that bow and arrow uh, poised to shoot and this woman has got uh, you know she's got the uh, sword in her hand so a lot of clarity coming in a lot of insight but you're being given the tools in order to uh, fight this battle and this could be that you know you have got much more um, authority now than you did before so maybe you couldn't deal with the legal situation in the past but maybe now somebody's giving you uh, ideas or insights or strategies in order how, uh, in order for you to deal with that legal situation or a legal problems that you're going through. You've got the strength card over there. So there is some kind of legal decision that you're um, um, facing over there. And it looks like you're going to be able to sort it out. This, this is the card about being victorious in that legal situation. You can see she's got the sort of truth in her hand. So there's a happy outcome to this particular um, card. Let's just get the cat hair off. <laughs> so it looks like, you know, you're going to be victorious in this particular situation. So whatever the problem is that you're dealing with, it looks like balance is restored and you are going to be a victorious as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot. And that is for the Oracle Read. Okay, excellent. You've got the Eight of Water. So this is the desire to move on. Uh, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So you're leaving behind the past and now you're moving on. You're walking away from whatever happened. Uh, you know, you're, you've come to terms with it and it looks like you're leaving it and moving on. And then you've got the King of Water. So this could be a, a water sign person, but somebody supporting you. So open your heart and mind to those around you and trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. So somebody's there to support you. Uh, it could be a father-like figure. This could also be seeking some medical advice as well if you're feeling a bit uh, downtrodden or if you're feeling if you're having some uh, medical um, problems as well. So this is getting some kind of advice, support as well coming in for you. But they, it looks like you know somebody's giving you that shoulder to cry on. Somebody's um, you know there to offer you support uh, and advice as well. And then you've got the life experience card over here. So a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. So you are moving on. Uh, this is the tower card, unfortunately, but it is something that's going to shift the energies. With all the cards surrounding, it's something positive. So there's big changes coming in for you. And it looks like, you know, establishing new, um, you know, you will be establishing new uh, foundations. So, um, you know, and moving on changing your life so you have made a decision to move on things have changed you are going to get the support you need you will be able to overcome problems because you've got that strength card and it's been a very victorious that lion is smiling so it looks like you know things are going to be uh going your way 
and uh, it looks like you know you're going to be conquering the situation so definitely things moving on with that eight of wands as well swiftness means things coming in quite quickly and things are going to be changing very very quickly uh, and uh, you know um, and there is victory that will be coming to you ending all those difficult uh, situations and below this card of the ten of cups is the ace of discs so there's a new job offer new prospects coming in a new beginning in your financial status as well so things are definitely looking up you can see these uh, wings taking the coins to the to the heavens so you know there might be even some travel there's the um, the world over there the earth over there so you know uh, whatever you're doing is going to reach great heights uh, but it's the end of a very difficult emotional period that you've been going through. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.